When Adolf Hitler was forming his Nazi party, he recruited boys and girls into his politics of hatred. He turned German children into little monsters dedicated to Nazi politics. Today, American colleges and universities are doing the same thing. It's only been a few weeks since Hamas launched a savage attack on Israeli men, women, and children. Jewish families were machine gunned in their own homes. Jewish babies were punched to death in their cribs. Some were even burned to death in their cribs. Their mothers screamed for mercy, but got none. Young Jewish women were brutally raped and kidnapped. Their dead bodies were later found in the desert. And believe it or not, American college students are marching and cheering for Hamas, calling for the extermination of the Jews in Israel. How could anyone celebrate the slaughter of innocent Israelis who had done no harm to Hamas or anyone else. I have never been more ashamed of Americans than I am of those despicable college students who are following in the footsteps of Adolf Hitler's Nazis. They are the new Hitler Youth. This is a photo of Hitler Youth chasing a Jewish woman and beating her with sticks. Look at this photo. This is what America is becoming. Violence against American Jews is just around the corner, and violence against Christians and conservatives will soon follow. <clears throat> Dennis Prager recently said that the stupidest place on earth is the American college campus. Well, today I say the college campus is the most evil place in America, totally devoid of any training in morality or ethics. Colleges have done away with moral decency. Why? because moral decency destroys the evil agendas of Nazism. Israel has never been the aggressor. All they want is to live peacefully in their ancestral homeland, a homeland that was given to them by God himself. And that right there is the problem. This world, dominated by Satan, hates everything that is blessed by God. Israel, unborn children, Christians, and Jews. If you are one of the useful idiots celebrating the killing of Israeli families, you are a slave. Satan has you chained up and is making you do his bidding. I guarantee you are on the highway to hell and the clock is ticking. Bible prophecy tells us that in the last days the whole world will come against Israel because of satanic deception. And shamefully, Washington DC has abandoned the Christian heritage of the USA and is now firmly committed to every evil agenda. When Israel is threatened, the world becomes a dangerous place because the forces of hell are on the march. I am calling for all Christians to be in prayer and fasting for the situation in Israel. Pray for God to come against evil men and women in our own government and keep trusting Christ. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching and America bless God again.